Hello once again, welcome to Mirror's Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this mini purse here. So this is a very simple purse to crochet and we're going to be using single crochet from start to finish. Okay, so this is our purse and this is the inside and if you want you can line the inside with lining. So let's see what we're going to need for us to crochet this bag. So you're going to need stitch markers, about six of them. You're also going to need a tapestry needle. You're also going to need a crochet hook. This one here is a four millimeter crochet hook and it corresponds to the size of yarn that I'm going to be using. This is polyester macrame cord and it is three millimeters thick. Then you're also going to need uh, these two metal rings here for the handle. And you're also going to need this metal lock here. Okay. You're also going to need a scissors. So let's begin. So you're going to begin with the chain of 26, okay, like this. So you first of all make a slip knot, this one, and the next you chain. So that's one, two, three, four, and then five. So I now have five chains. I'm going to continue and come back with 26 chains. So next we're going to begin the first row, okay? So instead of inserting our hook at the top of the chains here, we're going to be inserting in the third bar or the back bumps, these ones, okay? So if you turn your chains, you see this. So that's where we're going to insert our hook and crochet single crochet in your stems. So here I'm going to skip the first one, okay? And then I'm going to insert into the second one. Up a loop and over and then put from so this is my first single crochet and then for the next one again put up a loop and over and then put through that's the second then the third and then put through so I now have three single crochets okay so I'm going to continue all the way up until all the chains are done okay so i finished the first row and if you count your stitches we have 25 stitches remember we skipped the first one at the beginning that was a turning chain okay so here we try to measure is about okay so it's almost 20 20 centimeters okay so now we move on to the next row. So the next row, at the end of each row, you chain one. And then you turn. This is a turning chain, this one, and does not count it as a stitch. So we're going to insert our hook below these two loops here. Okay, here. Pull up a loop and over. And then pull through. And the next. So this is my second single crochet in the following. Third. Okay. So I'm going to continue with one single crochet in each stitch up until the row is done. So here we now have two rows. Moving on to the next row, make sure that you chain one at the end of each row and then you turn. And then you begin in the very first stitch, this one, putting one single crochet in each. Okay. Again, in the next, one single crochet, like that. So we're just going to repeat the second row up until we have 44 rows and then come back. So I'll come back and I'll have 44 rows. So if you want to increase the, the rows that you have, just make sure that they, you maintain um, the total number in the multiples of four. So now the length of our panel is about 31.5 and then the width is 20 centimeters. Okay, so from here, you want to leave a tail at the end here. 
okay about one meter also want to use that to make the x's on top here so this is the right side and then this is the wrong side but they are both the same okay so here make a knot like this and then pull through the tail okay just cut from the ball and leave about one meter also you want to use that one okay so like this so here we just want to mark uh, the box where our first X is going to be in okay so I'm going to count five stitches from here one two three four five okay let me do it again one two three four five okay and then I'm going to count four rows so that's one two three four okay so I've been setting my needle in these small holes here Okay, so I'm going to count five stitches beginning from here. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to insert my needle there. So we have this small box here. Okay, so I'm going to insert my, my tail into the tapestry needle. Like that. Okay. I'm going to come and then insert my needle from behind okay so this this space here is four rows from the start and then five stitches from here okay so that's one two three four five okay so I pull through so I want to make an X I want to write an X using this needle okay so from here I'm going to come back To the first stitch okay and then from there I'm going to come this point and then into this stitch So there we have an X okay so from here again the next X is going to be five stitches from here but we start counting from this one so that's one two three four five okay and then again it's going to be in the fourth row okay so here we, co we count again five stitches from here one two three four five okay so I'm going to set my hook from behind from below and then I'm going to come back here and then I'm going to insert again from below into here and then I'm going to count one two three four five and then we have an X like that okay so you're just going to repeat again one two three four five I insert from below and then I come back and then from here like that okay so I'm just going to continue with the pattern up until we're at the end here so here I finished the first row of our X okay so now i want to move on to the next row so you find that this is the last point okay so again we count four rows so you go like one two three four so we're going to be inserting our needle into this small spaces okay and then again one two three four five okay like this so this is going to be the box for the next x so here from here i'm just going to come straight up here so you can do whichever way you're comfortable if you want to start from here or from here it's still fine at the end we just want to achieve an x at the top okay like that and then from there i'm going to come here in the first and then we have an x like this okay 
So from here again, I count one, two, three, four, five. I come into this small space here. And then I go back. I come again here. And then we have an X. Like that. So I'm just going to continue up until we're at the end here. Welcome back. So I finished. Okay. So at the end, you just fasten off. Okay, so now let's make the side panel. So here I'm going to make a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so I'm going to begin the first row. It's just going to be single crochet. So I skip this one, okay? You turn your chain, so you're going to be inserting in the back bumps or the third loops, okay? This one, and then we one single crochet. And the following, one single crochet. Okay, so this is my first row when you have five stitches one two three four five okay so at the end here I chain one and then we turn and then I'm going to begin in the first stitch and setting my hook below the two loops at the top and then we work one single crochet like that and the next okay here then we work one single crochet again here one single crochet and then in the last one so this is the second row okay so I'm going to repeat again the second row up until we have 12 rows and then come back so make sure that you chain one at the end of each row and then you turn and then you begin in the very first stitch maintaining five stitches okay so let's continue okay so here we now have 12 rows so at the end here we're going to leave a tail okay just tie a simple knot and then pull through so let's leave about Um, 60 centimeters or 70 centimeters we want to use this tail to join to the main uh, panel so just pull through okay so now we have this one so if you want you can just hide this one okay So now go on and make another one exactly like this and then come back okay so now I have these two small side panels and want to join them to this one so here from here to here we have 12 rows so what we're going to come here is want to fold our pass to like this okay so this is going to be the lead okay so from here, I'm going to count 12 rows. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So here, this is my 12th row. So I just want to put a stitch marker there. Okay. 
and then at the bottom which is going to attach to this one i'm going to count five rows okay so that's one two three four five yeah i'm going to put another stitch marker okay and then from there again i'm going to count 12 rows one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve let's put it here again i put a stitch marker like this okay so these are the points that we are going to put and attach the side panel okay so here I'm going to remove the stitch marker here. Then attach it there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. This one. Attach it to this one like this, and this one, okay. So it should be something like this. Okay, so now we're going to start joining. Okay, so it set the tail end to a tapestry needle, and then you're going to come. So you just find somewhere to insert your hook along the edges here. Okay, Okay, so here I've joined from this point to this point. So I'm going to continue, okay, joining up until I'm back here, okay. There again, you're going to come this side. Then you take the pattern, you count 12 stitches from here, 12 rows from this point up to this point, and then 5 rows from this point up to this point, and then 12 rows from this point up to this point. And then you join again just like we're doing here okay so i've joined the sides okay and this is our past like this so now i want to attach these small rings onto the sides for the handle okay so we're just going to use a tapestry needle to attach Okay, so like this, I'm going to fasten off the ends and then I'm going to repeat again this other side and then come back. So here, I've attached the small rings on both sides. 
next we want to put the lock so you want to make sure that you put this lock in the middle okay so here we have 25 stitches from this point to this point so we're going to put it in the 13th stitch 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 18 okay 19 So now we make the handle. Leave a tail that you will to use that to attach to the metal ring. So about 30 centimeters will do. And then make a chain. Make a chain of about 100 or 1 meter long and then come back. Okay, so I'm going to make a chain. 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to continue and then come back. Okay, so here I have this chain. It's about 120 uh, chains. So next, I'm going to crochet a uh, slip stitch. Okay, so you turn your chain. It's going to be sitting in the back bar or the back bump. Okay, so I'm going to skip the first one and then insert here. And then put a slip stitch like that. Okay, and the next insert. Pull through and then pull through again. Insert, pull through, and then pull through again. And the following. Okay, so I'm going to continue up until I'm back here at the starting point. This is my handle. Okay, so if you want it to be a bit more thick, you just chain one here, and then you come back again with slip stitch. Okay, but here, this is the thickness that we want. So at the end, I'm just going to take the loop that we, the tail that we left earlier on, and then I'm going to pull it through here. Okay. So this one, I'm going to cut and then we're going to fasten it off. Okay. So here we're going to use this tail to join to the metal ring, but for this height, we're going to use um, you can insert into the needle and then attach. So let's use this one, and then we're going to attach the side.
so this is our handle so here you might want to use um, to bend the ends here So this is my handle, this side. Okay. So we're going to repeat again. Make sure that when you join the other side that your handle is not twisted. Okay. So you just insert this one into the tapestry needle and then you join here. And then you fasten off the ends. Okay. Let's do that and then come back. Okay. Welcome back. So... Here, I've joined the handle, okay, then I fastened off inside here, okay. So, this is our bag. You can line it inside, it's lining, okay. And if you want a longer handle, you just increase the number of chains, okay. This is our bag. Thank you for watching Mimas Crafts. Please do subscribe, like, and comment for more videos. Thank you.